Here's how to show a custom product option only for specific variants. The custom option could be a text field, file upload, or many other types. The first step is to duplicate our live theme. So click on this button and click on duplicate. You can publish your copy once you're satisfied with the changes. For now, let's click customize on our copy. After that, we need to open the products page. So to do that, click on this drop down at the top, then click on products and select any product template. You can change the product you're previewing by clicking on this change button, then you can select the product. I'll select this mug for this example. So let's take a look at this product. It has one option which is custom text and it has two values, no and yes. And the yes variant is more expensive than no by $5. So what we want to do here is to show a text field only when I select the yes variant. So what we need to do here is to select this value, right click, copy. We're going to need it later. We're going to add some custom code to the product information section as a block. So let's click on add block and select the custom liquid block. Then click on it to open its settings. And here we can paste some code. So you will find the settings on the right. They're on the left for me just because I'm zoomed in. So for now, keep this page open we're going to use the code generator to grab some code and paste it here. You can find the link in the description. So here we are on the code generator. So the first thing is to select the type of field we want to add. So for our example, I'm going to choose the short text. Then let's give our field a name. Next, let's make this field required to add to cart. Let's check this to show this option for a specific variant value. And here on this field, we can paste the value of the variant that we copied. Then we have these options to check. In Shopify, we can have up to three options per product. So by default, the code looks for the variant value you entered in all the options. But you can change this using these checkboxes. Once you're done setting up everything, you can click on this button to copy the code that was generated. Back on the Shopify editor, let's click on this field and paste the code that we've copied. And then let's click on this button to go back to the blocks. And here's our custom block. Let's drag it where we need it. For example, above the quantity selector. We made this field required to add to cart, but this feature doesn't work with the buy it now button. So to disable it, let's click on the buy buttons block and let's click on show dynamic checkout buttons. So we are done with the editor. Let's save our changes and let's preview this theme by clicking on this button and clicking on preview. All right, I opened the product page. So for now, we don't see the field here, but if I select the yes value, now the field appears. And if I try to add to cart with an empty field, I get this error. So let's add a value. Then I can add to cart. And we can see the value here in this pop-up. Let's view the cart and the value is still here. We can also check out and let's see if we have the value in the checkout and the value is still here. So let's order this product. After the customer buys the product, you can click on the orders tab and then and select the order. Then you can see the value here. All right. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.